Stephen Curry, one of two 44-point games Jay he's already had this season. And he's impossible to stop. you got to be physical with him, try to slow him down, put different guys that switch out on him. But for West Virginia, rebounding going to be a big issue. Their best offensive rebounder, Sean Butler. He's a strong player, a good athlete, and he really goes after it. Stephen Curry will be joined by another very good shooter in Brian Barr. Up front, this is somewhat of an undersized team, but a very physical team. Andrew Lovedale already has four double-doubles on the season. For West Virginia, because of the injuries, you might see Deshaun Butler play a little bit more in the backcourt. They've got so many guards out. Filling a spot in the starting lineup tonight for West Virginia is John Flowers. And keep an eye on Devin Ebanks, a very highly touted freshman, can jump out of the gym. And we are ready for game one of the Jimmy V Classic with Stephen Curry, more of a so-called point guard rather than two guard this year. The ball will be in his hands all night long. Missoula guarding Curry. And you can see Curry's got great change of pace, change of direction. It does not bother him to miss shots. A lot of guys it may bother, it doesn't bother him. Flowers misses the alley-oop attempt. In the back comes Davidson Curry with a nice look ahead and a block. Count it. Carl Hess will score the bucket. Credit Will Archambault with a basket. After the missed layup, Stephen Curry looking to pass ahead. Davidson always wants to try to get the ball into the middle of the floor, into the shoot. And any time now that the ball touches the backboard before it's blocked, that is automatic goaltend. Getting to the rim and laying it in is Archambault on the alley-oop from Curry. He bangs. Drops it in. And this is a guy that Bob Huggins has been waiting to knock down some shots. He's long and athletic, but he hasn't been shooting well. And now the Mountaineers get a beat down the floor. Andrew Lovedale will lay it in on the feed from Curry. Well, Dan, even after you score, Davidson runs the floor and looks for early opportunities. Andrew Lovedale ran the floor hard. And Stephen Curry, to his credit, keeps his head up and he looks to pass ahead. Curry. And he may be slender, but you show there, Jay, he can absorb a little bit of punishment and still finish. Well, he dealt out a little bit. He used his body to get into the defender. Each game day, his mom, Sonia, texts him a verse of scripture which she thinks might be most impactful to Stephen on that particular day. Tonight, it says, I can do all things. It's a verse from Philippians. I asked him how he deals with the pressure because clearly this is a guy who's been vaulted into the national spotlight. He said, I don't play for the people in the stands. I play to honor my talent and to honor God. He said, incredibly mature young man. Jay, you know his dad very well. There's a block from behind by Curry. You know Dell very well. You've known Stephen since he, I think, was a sophomore in high school. Tell us about Curry, the man. Well, he, he's a great kid, and he's got a maturity that's way beyond his years, and I think a lot of that comes from his parents. You know, his mother, Sonia, was a terrific athlete at Virginia Tech, and Dell, of course, a 16-year veteran in the NBA. And Dell Curry never changed expression when he played. One of the great shooters uh, to have played during my lifetime, and his son has got that shooting gene. Curry misses the long three. You can hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd every time he touches the ball. NBA distance three is there for Stephen Curry. More on Curry. Back to Doris. Well, Dan, you referenced whether or not he would be back for his senior season next year. What he has said essentially is this. When the final whistle blows on this particular season, that is when he would turn his attention to it. Clearly, he's focused on Davidson and his team right now. Barr steps back, hits the three. He had a defender, Wellington Smith, right on him, pressure in that shot, but Barr knows that there are very few jump shots that can get blocked, and he stays solid with it and stayed solid on that attempt. Right out, Joe Missoula back in. Curry knocks down a long two. He's got seven. There's a little switch and reach, but you got to stay with him. You cannot leave the ball when Stephen Curry has it in his hands. He can step back. You can see Missoula just getting going the wrong way. And, you know, one thing Stephen Curry has that not a lot of players have is tremendous shot credibility. You know he can make shots, and he can keep you off balance as a result of it, and it makes his entire game better because he's a great shot maker shooter. Stephen Curry, two fouls to Davidson. Seven points so far. <laughs> Make it nine. How about that? You had Wellington Smith on him, who did a really nice job of stopping the ball in transition. And then the quick little step back, and what a quick release. And he reminds you a little bit of Reggie Miller and the way he gets shots off. There's his third steal of the game. Nice look ahead. Allison out ahead of the pack. Another assist for Stephen Curry, number six. I don't know what West Virginia was worried about. Everybody seemed to converge on Curry like he was going to shoot it from there. They didn't get back. Inside, Lovedale lays it in. 
Curry has great vision, not only as a passer, but he's got great vision for openings as a scorer. This young man can see. That's a big-time pass right there over a defender. Ebanks needs to keep his hands up and use some of that length to try to discourage that pass. A pass discouraged is just as good as a pass denied. And there's the Curry family. Dad Dell, 16 years in the NBA. Mom Sonia. Thurlman followed his own miss, got it back, missed the shot, an empty trip. And speaking of trips, McKillop trips right over his teammate Archambault. Curry with a bounce pass to Lovedare. Curry taking the handoff from Archambault. And defenders trailing him. That draws Ebanks over, and he's able to dish it off very effectively. But if he couldn't dish it off, if Ebanks didn't come to him, he could have stopped on a dime and kissed it off the glass. That's the kind of shooter that he is. Good pass. And there's assist number nine. It's Archambault from Curry. Here's Chuck Bryant back into the game, and it'll be a held ball. Good defense there by Curry. It'll stay with West Virginia. Curry is an underrated defender. We talk about his offense all the time because that's the thing that's most in your face. It's the easiest to talk about. Moves his feet, stays solid, and goes right after the ball. Unbelievable people like Nick Valvano, Jim's brother, like Joyce Ashenbrenner, who do just unbelievable work for the V Foundation, which again has raised more than $80 million. Driving is Bryant. The pull up from the elbow. Deshaun Butler rebound and he missed it. Missed it again. Finally it goes in. Three taps on the same possession. Ebanks will get credit. But Rossiter was there as well as Smith. And they needed that. And it's almost as if the crowd needed that. So many people here tonight came to see Stephen Curry shoot the ball. There it is again. Active hands on the part of Steph Curry with another steal. Driving on Smith. Creates the space and knocks down the long jumper. 19 for Curry. Nice back pass. Curry for three. Well, that shows a player that understands how to get open. And he was completely in balance and under control and knew what he was doing the whole time. Deshaun Butler. The junior averaging almost 15 a game, had it partially blocked. Was that Curry? It was Lovedale, and then Curry got over there to grab the rebound. But Bob, Bob Huggins wanted to foul there. Davidson looking for the lead. We're in the final minute. Curry got it! He's not overshooting now, is he? <laughs> Mom's in his corner right now. A great shooter, sometimes all they need is to see the ball go through the net once. And no matter how many shots Stephen Curry had missed during the course of this game and how many turnovers he had given up, he was one confident shooter with the ball in his hands here. Look how off balance he gets John Flowers. I mean, he has got him on a string, and that's his shot credibility. Now, you know that he can go by you, but you also know that he can stop on that dime and drop the dime on you. Well, Mom's riding the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Dad Dell, he's not even standing up right now. He's, Dad's much more level-headed about what's going on here today. Butler's the go-to guy. Into a double team, and he walks! A terrific job by Stephen Curry coming over to give some help. Anytime you spin, that is the wrong move against pressure. 17th turnover. Now, you know all Davidson wants to do is get the ball into the hands of Curry, and if they don't turn it over, if they're if West Virginia is forced to foul, then Curry's going to go to the line. They've got two defenders right now on Curry. They want to deny him the basketball at all costs. Nearly stolen. Again, two guys face guarding Curry. I mean, normally you might have somebody on the ball, and he got it anyway. Yeah. There were three defenders on him. He came up with the ball, Smith the foul, and now Curry will head to the line. It'll be one and one. You know, with the game on the line, he's an incredibly confident player. All that went before the game-ending moments isn't even a memory to him. He just thinks about winning. Dell can hardly look. It's a free throw, Dad. He can't even look. Got it. Two possession game. He banks. And Davidson escapes with a 68 to 65 win. Stephen Curry got blazing hot at the end of the game. Jay knocked down some great shots, played both ends of the floor. The turnovers, the field goal percentage will not be pretty, but at the end of the game, at the end result, it's beautiful for Bob McKillop, Stephen Curry, and Davidson.